The X-Wing was one of the most widely used and versatile starfighters in the Rebel Alliance fleet during the Galactic Civil War. Their distinct X-shape came from the wings when their S-foils were locked in attack position. Each of the four wings was tipped with a laser cannon, and the ships came equipped with two proton torpedo launchers. Astromech droids could be used to assist pilots during flight. The ship was designed to improve upon Clone Wars era ships such as the ARC-170 and the Z-95 Headhunter. Containing shields and a hyperdrive, the X-Wing was less maneuverable but more durable than the Imperial TIE Fighter. Combined with the talented pilots of Red and Rogue Squadrons, X-Wings were formidable opponents. The most common model of X-Wings seen in the fight against the Empire was the T-65. Around 30 years after the Battle of Endor, the Resistance could be seen flying the T-70 model. While very similar to their predecessors, the T-70 had some notable differences in the wings. First, the craft no longer had four circular engines, but instead four semicircular engines that formed a full circle when the S-foils were closed. In attack position, the wings opened up like scissors rather than being split down the middle. Like much of the new Star Wars content, this seems to be a decision to more closely match the X-Wing with the original concept designs of Ralph McQuarrie. That's it for today. Be sure to like, subscribe, and share to see new Star Wars videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And if there's a specific Star Wars topic you'd like me to cover, please leave it in the comments and I'll do an episode about it. Thanks for watching, and may the Force be with you.